here locally, we've heard from community members, law enforcement, about how tragic events affect our communities. ABC 6 News reporter Megan Stewart spent the day at local events organized in the wake of all the shootings. Here's her story tonight. Inside Rochester Community Baptist Church Friday night, a vigil for lives lost this week in Dallas, Baton Rouge, and right here in Minnesota. The synergy that we need to continue the conversation. Uh -huh. Outside sits a group of kids, their choir practice canceled because of the vigil. Hearing violence like this seems kind of it's not good to hear about. I just want... Mia Mondi says she wants to be a police officer when she gets older to help improve race relations. But she says she's also scared of becoming a cop. I don't want to get shot. We live in a culture where firearms are a reality. Earlier in the day, a news conference with local law enforcement and members of the community striking a nerve. And I'm afraid my black son will get pulled over and will get shot and will die. I never feared that my white son would be shot and killed. Both events hoping to bring awareness and change while still keeping the peace. In Rochester, Megan Stewart, ABC 6 News. Hmm. And if you'd like to see more of the news conference from earlier today, we streamed it live. Just head to our Facebook page. As for what's ahead, the Rochester Police Oversight Commission will be meeting on Monday. Members plan to ask the department on their use of force and de-escalation tactics. That meeting is open to the public.